Hi, my name is Robert Ross. Welcome to another episode of Diversity of Urban Art. I'm a painter who focuses in oil paintings on urban and rural landscapes. I've been painting for about five years, seriously. And uh, we're located here today at McRae Art Studios in Winter Park, where I have a studio with about 22 other artists. I'd like to talk about this painting here now. This painting is, I did this painting from a photograph that I took last December in Istanbul, Turkey. I was there visiting my son who works there as a teacher. Uh, and I was fascinated by the tight urban spaces in Istanbul. All the buildings are quite close together. It's nothing like Orlando's um, urban architecture. And so I took a lot of photographs of the spaces between buildings. I, I find that I'm really interested in spaces between things. I, um, I sometimes think I, I'm more painting the sky and the buildings are just props to, to give me an excuse to paint the sky. Anyway, I saw these buildings and I, I shot up toward the top of the buildings because I liked the way this sky shape and the, build, the shape in the middle were, I liked the, the design of it anyway. And when I went back and looked at it for uh, a painting idea, I realized that the normal perspective that you get when you take a picture with a camera is that things further away tend to go closer together. I kind of liked that too, because it made now like a more diagonal shapes. So I pushed them together even more. They weren't probably quite this extreme. And I had, um, I got started on it. I was painting the browns and this kind of a cafe au lait color. And um, the, the light areas, I, I had a lot of fun with the shadow, the play of light and shadow. The way this building here casts its shape by way of a shadow on this building behind it. And the things, the part that's in light is more bleached out and the part that's in shadow is more, it looks different, it's more clear. Um, and I remember when I was painting this, um, I painted every, all the edges nice and tight. But again, I, I, I wanted some of the, the looseness uh, of the brush stroke that you get in here. Um, I wanted it to look like a painting, not a photograph. And I, I felt that I really got these edges really nice, very kind of brushy, very uneven. But still, you know, they, you, your eye knows what they are. But it was too tight up here. So what I did, I remember very clearly, I took my hand and I just moved it. And I blurred the color into each other. And so in this painting, I used not only the paintbrush and the palette knife, but I used the most original paint tool you have, your hand. You can go back to the caves of uh, Lascaux in France and you'll see cave paintings. They were all done with their hand. Um, and what I especially like in here, which I think um, was maybe what I was after in the first place, is the way this blue, this particular blue, kind of talks to this, these colors next to it. There's a real color uh, conversation going on here. In fact, what I call this painting is conversation because to me, when I looked at it, started looking, I realized that it looks like three neighbors all having a conversation in the morning. You know, they're all looking over the backyard fence and they're talking to each other. Istanbul is a country, or it's a city in a country that is at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. It has both Muslim and Christian and ancient Jewish uh, populations. And so it also, for me, symbolized the conversation amongst old neighbors, old friends, old enemies. Um, and while I'm, while I'm thinking about it, over here, I'd like to point out another one of my working methods. Um, a lot of times when I'm going to do a painting, 
I'm not really sure what's the most important thing in the painting if I'm working from a photograph. So I find it to be very, very helpful if I do a drawing, a, a nice simplified pen or charcoal drawing of it. So on this wall are some sketches I've made from photographs just to give me, just to kind of think through and pr solve problems ahead of time before I even start the painting. And very often it helps me end up with something like this, which is more simplified. I don't have every single little bit of brick here. I don't have every little window ledge spelled out. I may not have an antenna. So I, I decide in my pencil drawings very often what's, in mo what's most important and what is totally irrelevant or might even be distracting from the final painting.